Lieutenant Ellen Ripley's first encounter with the xenomorph species left her the lone survivor of the Nostromo crew, having to set off the ship's self-destruct in an attempt to destroy the monster, and blowing it out of the escape shuttle's airlock when it stowed away on board the Narcissus. Her survival, however, would come at a grave price, with the Narcissus drifting in deep space for 57 years until she was found and recovered, leaving the life she knew far behind. When debriefed by the Wayland yutani Company, Ripley learns that her daughter, Amanda, had died while she was in cryosleep, and laments the fact that she promised she'd be home for her 11th birthday. It would seem that Amanda Ripley had grown up, lived her life, and then passed away without her mother, and without ever knowing exactly what happened to her. That is, until a recently told story through the video game Alien Isolation, which focuses on Amanda Ripley, would offer some further explanation to the daughter Ellen Ripley left behind. Although separated by a large gap of time and unfortunate circumstances, the mother and child would end up sharing a bond of horrifying encounters with the xenomorph creature, with each sharing a will to survive their experiences and a determination to destroy the creature. The story of Alien Isolation is set 15 years after the Nostromo's disappearance, with Amanda Ripley being informed the flight recorder of the Nostromo was recently located, held aboard the space station Sevastopol, and may hold a clue as to her mother's whereabouts. Amanda Ripley joins a Wayland yutani retrieval team to investigate the flight recorder, only to find the Sevastopol station offline, nearly abandoned, and according to a survivor she encounters, harbors a monster. Ripley learns that the information from the flight recorder was used to retrieve a xenomorph specimen from LV-426, where the Nostromo made its fateful journey, and history would seem to be repeating itself, and that an alien had made its way loose through the station pitting her into a living nightmare in which she struggles to survive by evading the xenomorph on its murderous path. Through this confusing and horrifying experience, Amanda is at least able to receive some clarity and closure regarding her mother after finding a recording made aboard the Narcissus, which was intended for her but never having been transmitted appropriately, likely due to Wayland yutanis interference. In the message, Ellen Ripley details her accounts and assures her daughter of her safety. Hi Amanda, I'm recording this for you, my sweetheart, and I hope you get to hear it one day. You see, I got into trouble. My ship, there was an accident, sweetheart, and we found an alien creature. It was very dangerous, and the only way we could stop it was to destroy the ship. I'm okay, I'm stuck on this lifeboat a long way out, but we had to destroy the ship. We had to destroy the Nostromo. We just couldn't risk bringing that thing home with us. I needed to protect you. Don't worry. Don't worry about me, I'm sure I'll see you very soon." Of course the two would never cross paths again, but like mother like daughter, Amanda also survives her encounter with the alien, also by blowing it out of the airlock of a ship, though with herself along with it, equipped in an EVA suit. The airlock blast knocks her unconscious, leaving her to drift in the isolation of space. She drifts away sleeping, in a way similar to how her mother's encounter with the alien ended. The final moments of this story, of course, suggest Amanda Ripley is rescued, and though it ends on a somewhat ambiguous note, would you like to see more of this character in the future? Either through a sequel to the game, or even being included in the expanded universe somehow, such as her story continuing through comics or novels. Where would you like to see her story continue? Now knowing of her mother's experiences and sharing a similar ordeal, it would be likely Amanda would be more determined than ever to find out what happened to her mother. And with the company involved with the incident at Sevastopol, who can say for sure if the documents presented to Ripley at Gateway Station in Aliens were falsified or not? It looks like Amanda is being rescued at the end of Alien Isolation, but by whom? And was it really a rescue? Let me know what you think. And just for fun, if you've played Alien Isolation yourself, comment below and give me an approximation of how many times you died horribly during gameplay. Personally, for me, I think I lost count after dying over a hundred times, but I'm curious to know your count. And as always, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching, a thumbs up is always appreciated, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button for more. If there's an Alien Universe topic you'd like to see explored further, please comment below and let me know. Follow Alien underscore Theory on Twitter and Alien Theory YT on Facebook for all the latest updates, and until next time, this is Alien Theory, signing off.